and welcome to the 22nd annual Long Island International Film Expo. And we are here today with David from Three Kings. You want to give us your full name? Sure, David Bellantoni. Okay, and David, would you tell us what part in Three Kings did you I wrote, and I directed, I produced. Okay, and what was what was the idea that gave you Three Kings? Well, it was, it's based on my family history, uh, Italian dysfunction, um, some laughter, some tragedy. Um, it was basically one of the family members suffers from dementia, but I wanted to find the humor in that as well. So, because every tragedy does have a little bit of humor uh, underneath. So, uh, I wanted to explore that mostly. And when you put this together, because it had to do with family, and, yeah. and it's something that's so personal, right. like, how did you actually get past a lot of the road bumps that some people may find when it's something that's emotionally attached? That, um, that's why I write, to get that stuff out. Uh, it was a play first, so I was able to get that up and running. Okay. I used the same cast um, that I used in the play, so that really helped with the film because the actors already knew their characters. And um, I mean, for me, uh, it's not, it didn't feel vulnerable. It felt like I was getting stuff out there that I knew really well, but it's not a documentary. Okay. So I got the essence of the truth out of these characters, um, but it wasn't exactly them. So I didn't feel like, oh no, I'm, you know, I'm messing with the truth too much. Plus, it's my truth. It's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do you have any other projects that we should be looking for? I do. Well, I'm shooting something in August. Um, this is kind of a. I guess, uh, do you know the movie After Hours? Yes, I know. Love that. So it's a similar similar theme, just sort of somebody who just, and it's actually based on something that happened in the production of Three Kings. Um, that was somebody who couldn't quite ever get home. So part of the production time. chronicles. Part of the produ yeah, production chronicles ended up, um, and it was a real story. And every time I told the story, but he said to me, that should be a film. Okay. And I had a friend of mine approach me and said, listen, I want to work with you. I can give you camera, I can give you crew. And I'm like, I got to take advantage of it. So I wrote Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, so we're scheduled to shoot in about a month. And what is that name? Uh, Borderline. Borderline. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm a playwright. I have plays going up all the time. So. Oh, great. So yeah. where can we actually find some of the work that you're doing? Um, I usually, I, I'm a writer, director, resident at a company called the Network Theater Company in New York. Okay. So a lot of my stuff gets done. We do uh, plays in uh, October and also in the spring. And where is it like online it's that they the would be able to find the information yeah, to yeah, get tickets? Yeah, if you go to the uh, New Short Play Festival, you can always find something there. Okay. Yeah. Well, we definitely want to thank you for thank entering you. your project here and be, being screened here. Yeah. It was a wonderful project. And we wish you all the best in all your future upcoming endeavors. Thank you. You'll be very welcome. Thank you, Long Island.